Dude, come here. Yeah. Come here. So what's going on? It is 5.30 in the morning in Dublin, Ireland. I'm still asleep. But you're talking. I'm sleep talking. I like the hat. Thank you. You're keeping me warm because it's 5.30 in the morning yeah. in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, Ireland. Can't even talk because it's about 5.30 a.m. So here's our luggage truck right next to us, and we've just noticed that the back is kind of open <laughs> with all our luggage in it, but they have lifted the back up to kind of keep things from kind of sliding out. But if you spend this brakes on hard enough, I'm sure all our luggage will be all over the road, and that will be a mix between scary and funny. So here we are at the airport. Ready to go over the plane to go home. How y'all doing? Do you want some? Do y'all make it? Yeah. Are y'all on the plane? Yeah, finally. Even Michael made it. Look at that. Never mind, I'm good. We're going to go to uh, USA now. I'm a sailor, hey! And I lost my leg! Climbing up the top sails, I lost my leg! Sitting here in the airport at Newark, it's like our layover for our plane to go to Atlanta. Just talking about Ireland, kind of things that we hadn't mentioned. I'll actually let Matt tell his story first. Basically, it was the first night we're at the Dublin Hotel. So we go over to the Ark, which is some type of bar dance area for all the young people. They started doing like 90s rap because I guess that's just hit Ireland. Then they started playing Soldier Boy, and we, uh, us Americans, threw it down like nobody's business. But they just knew the U part. They didn't know the whole dance before that. So the Irish have been taught American culture in yeah, a dance. they are pretty French. much the whitest people I've ever met. Like, they are whiter than me. <laughs> and you're and that's French. Saying, that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Things that I haven't mentioned yet that I think are important. Oh, yeah! You know, you remember the Limerick Parade? Yeah, so Dr. Sperlin told them not to judge the band, yet somehow we ended up winning, you know... Everything. That, well, not every, like Best overall band, uh, most entertaining, Everything. and best musical performance. Usually one of those things, you know, you use those contacts, you get like little golden trophies that yeah. are not... Then they, right? No, 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 no. We got huge crystal like, candy dish. Like, 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 crystal candy dish. Yeah, you know, it's a huge trophy. Like, so, uh, show, uh, guess about how big this thing is. No. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. It's enormous. It's enormous. Yeah, I'm like, we in America suck at making trophies. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, this crystal cup thing we won was bigger than the national championship football crystal football. You could put this football inside our trophy. Theoretically, by the process of logistical everything, we are better than the national football champions. Ireland says so. Pretty much so. What the trophy will look better with candy in it. Now we're going down. Got done with Newark, and now we're going <laughs> onto the plane to go to uh, Atlanta. Two more hours of a plane ride. And then two more hours of a, of a bus ride, and we'll be back at Auburn. Gum. 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 Very dramatically. <laughs>